Hey folks, nice to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, the festive spirit has landed here in Aquarium Adventures World. Um, but I have an issue, and it's related to this tank. And a question, I suppose, at the same time. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you left your lights on for two weeks without turning them off at all? I can answer that for you now. So, as you can see, we're getting ready for Christmas here. We've got our tree with all the presents underneath. Far too many presents, but look at all this. All of these presents and one. One of them's for me, and it's that tiny little thing there. And I bought it for myself. It's only a pen. Anyway, I digress. Um, so, you can see the Christmas tree here, and you can see the horrible looking fish tank here. And the two are related, so pointing no fingers at any wives. When the Christmas tree appeared, she used a plug that's got the timer for the lights on it. And then left the lights plugged in and on, so every time I came in here, I wasn't expecting the lights to be off and they were on and that was fine, but they were on 24 hours a day and they have been for about two and a bit weeks. But I can't completely blame my wife for that because even though this is disgusting, it was already reasonably neglected before that. Um, you'll have noticed a, a severe lack of videos on this channel in the last couple of months just because I've been so busy at actual work. Um, everything's just getting away from me, so I've just not had a chance to get back to it. But I figured this two or three days ago, that this is what was going on. Let me see if I can get a better, less reflective look at that. So I figured it out a few days ago, and I've kind of been trying to convince myself that I liked it, because it does have some cool qualities, this algae. The way it just goes in the, the water and the flow and waves around. Um, but if you look at the algae on the sand down there, yeah, it's just grotty. And it's on everything, so it's suffocating quite a few of the plants. It's on the wood, it's on the rocks. Um, so I'm going to have to get all that out of there to give it a good old scrub. And then of course I've got all these presents and trees and everything's in the way, so it's a quite an upheaval. But it really has to be done. So well, that's today's job. Let's get tackling that. So the tools that I'm going to use for this are obviously a beer, but a big bucket and our old friend hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. Um, so H2O2, as you may have known. If not, check out another video where I'll put a link up here about using this. Um, but before we go on, I can't blame everything just on the light schedule being out or the lights being left on for a couple of weeks. That has obviously exacerbated what's going on in there. But that's not really the root cause. The root cause is that something's not quite right. The balance isn't right. And it was kind of under control whenever I was doing the regular um, big water changes every week without fail or twice a week without fail. But that's just slipped because life has got in the way. And as soon as that slips, any little imbalance, you're going to get pff, that big explosion of algae or something else is going to go wrong. And that's what's happened in this tank. Um, I've just been so busy at work, I've not had time to do anything but work recently. So, although the lighting schedule is out, I reckon I need to take about an hour off the, the lighting schedule. Um, just to stop that in general, so I can relax the maintenance a little bit. Um, but it, that is the problem. The CO, I used to run CO2 on this tank and I stopped running that because it was costing me a fortune, to be frank, in CO2. Um, so there's been lots of changes happening, lots of things have um, either stopped working or worked too well. So that's why it's ended up like this. So I can't blame my wife for it totally. If you're watching Dearest, it's not your fault, it's my fault. So what I'm going to do is get all that stuff there out. Put it into said bucket and spray it with hydrogen peroxide. Um, it's not going to be a one-time thing that's going to fix everything. Um, I think I'm going to have to sacrifice a lot of those plants, but essentially my plan is to take out the rocks in the wood, get them into the bucket and give them a good scrubbing, spray them down with hydrogen peroxide, put them back in again, take out some of the plants, have a look at them, see what can be saved and what can't. Um, again, spray them with hydrogen peroxide and replant them if need be. Um, but for the next couple of days at least, mind you, it's Christmas in a couple of days. I don't really want to have a crappy fish tank for Christmas. I don't know, I think this is just one of these jobs that you need to start and see what happens. So, build some suspense for the video, see what happens. 
actually the first job is to move all this because I know as I'm such a klutz I'll probably make some kind of flood and I don't really want to ruin all the Christmas presents. So let's move all this out of the way. So I've taken out all the rocks, um, all the bits of wood, I've left in a few of the plants that didn't look too bad and a few of the rocks that didn't look too bad, given everything a good soak in hydrogen peroxide in this bucket here which is now too heavy to lift so that bucket so I'm going to leave that in there overnight and just um, let it soak, let it kill everything in the morning I'll give it a good scrub and it should be clean and I can start building it back up but as you can see everything's really cloudy in there so I've just turned off the pump hopefully let all some of the gunk and all the bits and bobs that are floating around settle back down to the bottom I'll do a big water change and then when I can refill that leave that overnight come back in the morning and we'll build it back up again so I'll go and do start doing a water change now and I'll catch up with you tomorrow or in about a second right next day that's what we've got so it's looking a little bit barren but it's all cleaned up um, I've left in the plants that were kind of savable they're not algae free or anything um, but yes we definitely need to get some more plants I do kind of have some plans to redo this in the future so this is going to be a kind of stop gap so what I've got now is essentially just a big empty space and a big bucket down here full of things that need to be cleaned uh, I talked about in my last video about how to use hydrogen peroxide that you take things out give them a scoosh put them back in and repeat that and over the course of a week all the algae just drops off and the fish even start eating it and things like that I'm not going to bother doing that this time. I've given them a good soak in uh, hydrogen peroxide that will burn most of it off. I'm just going to give everything a bit of a rinse, a bit of a scrub, and then put maybe a bit of a, a hardscape with a few plants. And then in the new year, um, hopefully when my Felix Smart device arrives, um, I'll try out one of the features there about teaching me how to aquascape or letting it do its AI to aquascape. So for now, let's go in downstairs and we'll get the rest of the rocks and wood scrubbed off and we'll start putting it back in again. So you might remember these two from the last video, probably about a month ago now. And um, while these were in quarantine, I just, I'd always planned to tidy up the tank upstairs before I moved these guys up. So I've had them in here in their quarantine. I've had in the sacrificial lamb with the extra fish. And um, I've put that one back now, but I've left these two in here because of this. So, quite a small batch of eggs there, but they seem to have paired off. Um, got some fertile eggs there, they've been in there a couple of days now, only a little batch, they've been picking off the fuzzy ones. Not the greatest of pairings, if I'm honest. Um, we'll probably end up with quite a lot of brown fish. Um, but I do like breeding discus, so I do like giving them a chance. So, I'll give them a couple of tries in here, see if they get up to anything, and then I'll just put them back in the in the main tank, um, I don't really want them to be breeding uh, because it kind of, some people say it stunts their growth and once a fish starts breeding that's it, they don't get any bigger. I'm not sure I completely agree with that but, it, but I guess there might be some truth to it. But I'm also a sucker for breeding, especially breeding discus, um, so I like to let them have a little bit of time and let nature take its course and all that. Um, the rest of the fish room, in terms of being messy and dirty and there's breeding going off all over the place, all these, this is a, it wasn't a breeding tank but there are now tons and tons and tons of bristlenose plecos in here that are breeding away as well as cherry shrimp, there's just thousands of little buggers. Um, but we'll do a proper update on what's going on down here, maybe in the next video or the one after that. Um, but for now, yes, back to the cleaning. So I brought the box down here and I'm just going to rinse this stuff off in the sink and excuse all the Christmassy stuff. Christmas in this house essentially means stockpiling alcohol. But yeah, we've got the, the box of bricks and twigs and bits of wood and all that in here. Um, you can see it's, most of it's just coming off already, so that's good. I'm just going to give it a bit of a rinse. Please, biological filtration police, don't shout at me. I know that I've ruined any filtration that was held in these rocks, but I've got tons and tons and tons of biohome in that sump. So I'm not really worried about losing anything off these. I just want them to look a bit nicer and a bit cleaner. I'm not going to be overly anal about this. I'm just going to give them a quick rinse, a quick scrub, 
uh, and then get them back upstairs and get them into the tank. Let's get on with that. So there'll be a few people thinking what a big waste of time that was taking these all out, spraying them with the H202 and all that kind of palaver. Trust me, it makes it so much easier. So I can rinse this off now. A light scrub and a rinse and it's cleaning of the algae. If I'd left all that algae on there and just tried to scrub it straight away, I'd have been here for hours. Uh, this is going to take me 10 minutes. As you can see, I've done a few bits so far and it's just coming off straight away. I don't really need to scrub it at all. Just the the, the wash of the water is getting most of it off, so it's what it's doing the trick. So I would say it's very much still a work in progress, but it's a lot cleaner and I think that's as good as I'm going to get. So over the Christmas period, just something that's not disgusting to look at. That's all I was aiming for and I think that's what I've got. I probably need to do another couple of water changes just to get all the bits out um, from the various moving things around. Um, Hopefully in the next few weeks or months I'll get the, the rest of the discus upstairs. I've got some more tetras coming. I've got some lots of new things planned for this tank uh, to build it out a little bit. Uh, I mentioned earlier on about the Felix. So that's a, a device you might have heard about. If not, go and Google it. But I got in on that early. Um, and one of the features it has is it's, it's meant to aid you with your aquascaping. So this very much isn't an aquascape. It's just some rocks and some wood and some plants not any thought gone into it other than just something that's clean um, but I'm going to test out the features of the Felix Smart and see whether or not I can't make this look a little bit nicer uh, I do have a few bags of Eco Complete so I've kind of got a rough plan in my head of what I wanted to do and um, we have a couple of islands, planted islands here and here um, and in amongst all the rocks and build it up and get a little bit of depth in there but I'm going to try out this Felix thing and see how good it is um, and hopefully you can all join me for that but for now um, I think that'll do hopefully we'll get some more videos out sooner when work comes down a little bit so that'll do it if you haven't already make sure you click that subscribe button share the video all that good stuff and I'll see you in the new year after wishing you all a very merry Christmas or whatever holiday that you subscribe to um, have a good one we'll see you later bye if you've ever wondered what happens if you leave your lights on for a fortnight Prepare to have that information. <coughs> As always, if you haven't already... Hey folks, nice to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Um, no, that's not what I normally say. <laughs>